Here is the contraption I'm going to show you how to build today, and I'm calling it the tripod video extension arm. Uh, what it's going to be used for is so that you can record uh, photos and videos hands-free um, from above. So if you're trying to record an instructional video and you just need both your hands free to be underneath the camera, this is a great way to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about the tools that you're going to need for this project. And the first thing is coupling nuts. You're going to need a quarter inch size. And this one comes with a pack of three, which is perfectly good because that's what you need for this project. You'll also need a brass pipe. Uh, it's a quarter inch. And I don't know anything about these. Honestly, I'm not a plumber. So there's the bag with the details on it. Quarter inch. You just want to make sure that your coupling nuts will fit inside of all three of the holes on that and you're good to go. You will need some sort of a mount for your camera phone. This one is a snap mount. Um, it just clips right on and then you can do it horizontal or vertical as you're making the video so that's nice. And then you'll also need a threaded rod quarter inch size so that it'll fit inside the coupling nuts and these come in different lengths too. This is a uh, just 12 inches. You can get 24. So depending on how long you want your arm. And the next thing is the epoxy. Um, make sure that you get the self mixing kind. I tried this project before and it just makes it really difficult if you have to mix the epoxy first and then put it in. So this uh, self-mixing is really helpful. And finally, you'll just need some cleanup gear. Um, it does get messy, some sponges, paper towels, whatever you need. And now we can get started. So the first step is putting two coupling nuts onto your threaded rod. And do this on the same, the same end because we want them to kind of connect to each other once they're on the rod. And then once you kind of get that second one on there, just pinch them together in the center and then roll the bar and it makes it a little bit easier to get that threaded through. So then you just want the rod to come right to the end of the coupling nut. So once you have the rod resting on the inside of your T-pipe, you want to, first I'm just going to put a paper towel underneath because epoxy is really messy and I don't want to get my table all messed up so make sure that's even and resting flat and then you want to take your instant mix epoxy and come in through the top and just start depressing the plunger and getting that epoxy right on the top of there. Now you don't want to fill the top up because we're going to add another coupling nut so you just want to cover the two coupling nuts that are already down in the bottom. Take your third little coupling and just set it down inside of there and it's you know a pretty tight fit it's not perfect but it's good enough to be straight and then you can take some more epoxy and just sort of fill in fill in the gaps a little bit on the side and you just want to continue to move all the way around the top until it's just about overflowing and then just kind of roll it around so that it gets down around the sides. And this will start setting up pretty quick, so 
You want to move a little bit fast so that your syringe doesn't harden. And then just keep filling it up until it comes up to the top. So you can get a really good seal on that. Drill it around a little more. Get it down in there. And this time it's staying up so you know that it's all filled and then you just want to wait for like 30 seconds to a minute until that's kind of dry before moving on to the next step. And now that you have the top all done, uh, go back to the bottom and do the same thing and start filling in the gaps on the sides. So if you're not working fast enough, uh, your epoxy nozzle will dry up on you. And because this is really quick drying epoxy, it's less than a minute. So doing this tutorial, it was hard for me to work that quickly, but I'm going to show you a loophole to get around that. So all you need to do is take a little tray, and I just cut the epoxy box open, and just squirt squirt the epoxy in the cup and then quickly take just a piece of paper is what I have and fold it into kind of a scooping shape and then you want to mix the epoxy which is important because one side is the actual epoxy and one side is the drying medium so you want to make sure those get mixed together really well or your epoxy won't dry which is what happened on my first try and it's really irritating so make sure you mix that up good and then just take the same little piece of paper and start placing the epoxy around the edge just like you would if it was coming out of the, the plunger same thing get it all the way around uh, this time you won't be able to pump the coupling nut because it's already stuck in there but that's fine we just want to seal the outside to give it some extra hold so there's one side and flip it over and do the other If you get messy, it's okay. That's what the uh, sponge is for. But you can see it. It's already hardening up. And there you go. If you get messy, just wipe it off with a sponge. You can take out the rod, and this way, if you got any epoxy on it, it won't permanently harden. And then you'll want to let um, you want to let the epoxy dry overnight. Twenty four hours is uh, full strength. So now that our adapter is all finished drying, I'm going to show you how to put all this together. So you just want to take your T-pipe and screw it down onto your tripod. Like that. And then uh, screw your rod into the top part. And the great part about this is that you can use different lengths of the bar, like I said before. And you can also control the length by screwing or unscrewing. 
And then you want to take your phone adapter and go ahead and snap your phone in like that. And then screw this end onto the rod. You want to make sure this is on there tight so that it doesn't move around while you're doing your videos or photos. Just like that. Now you can record from above like this if you're drawing, doing your video tutorials, whatever it may be. And it's hands free. So if you like this video, please visit my blog, Happy to be Creative, and I will be posting a full list of supplies that I used, and um, this is just a really great, fast project, it takes about, you know, 15 minutes or less, and it costs under $15, so it's a great solution and a great DIY. So thanks for watching.